Bam! Welcome back to the Nerd Cave for this week's edition of Safe Toys. I'm your kaiju-loving host, Travis, and on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at this guy, my Imperial King Kong action figure donated to the Safe Toys channel by the Safe Toys Premium member, Deborah Brown. Thank you so much, Miss Debbie, for allowing this action figure to be reviewed right here on this channel. Well, you may remember about a year ago in March, we took a look at Godzilla, the most famous kaiju of all, as we prepared for the release of the movie Godzilla King of the Monsters. And personally speaking, I need to give a little bit of, uh, ah, wow, I was doing so smooth there. Kind of love it, right? Anyway, this week's episode, we're going to show some of that same love to King Kong as we have the upcoming Godzilla vs. King Kong movie looming in our future. Now. Very quickly, I want to talk about King Kong and then head over to, uh, we're going to be filming outside and instead of the review booth today, and we'll look at this action figure a little bit more closely. So join me there and subscribe while you're watching the channel, hit the like button, and also check us out at SaveToys.com. This is Save Toys. Just like Santa Claus on December 25th, another episode of Save Toys come and gone. Before we go on our little uh, Safe Toys outing, we'll be filming the review in my backyard. I wanted to talk very briefly on how I met King Kong and the ways I was introduced to him. You may remember last year we did a similar episode about Godzilla, and so turnabout's fair play. Now with King Kong, it was the 1933 release of King Kong, the black and white King Kong movie that was such a sensation even to this day. It would definitely be comparable to such classics as Gone with the Wind and Sound of Music. Now, um, with King Kong, there's been a lot of different uh, variations of him over the years. I, again, love the original the best. He was not quite uh, a gorilla-like. He was more a uh, humanoid uh, gorilla, kind of a mixture of both, and that made him more terrifying to me. Now, later on, he would be introduced in a movie where he fought Godzilla. And though I love the movie, and I remember my friend uh, telling me about this movie, and I thought, my dreams have come true. This movie exists. And I found it on VHS in my local Walmart and watched it. Now, it blew my childhood mind. But if you, if you really look at it with a scrutinizing eye, the King Kong in that movie, it, it just really looks fake. It really looks bad. And I think in that respect, though the movie is good, they blew that opportunity. Now, later on, King Kong uh, came out with several different movies, several different sequels, uh, King Kong, King Kong Lives, and there was also the Jack, Nich uh, Jack Nicholson, excuse me, the Jack Black King Kong movie. Now, I know that's probably not the right way to say it, but Jack Black is an excellent actor, and he kind of defined that movie for me. Now, good movie, but it was still uh, some steps backwards in the fact that the uh, gorilla uh, Kong in that movie looked strictly like a giant gorilla, and just a giant animal is is not that scary. I mean, look at Godzilla. He's not a giant dinosaur. He's a T-Rex with stegosaurus spikes on the back, more human-like arms, even though they're not quite as big as a human, but they're not the uh, small hands of the T-Rex. Um, so that really added to the terror of it. Now, there is hope out there in the cinema, uh, cinematic world. I'm, I'm using, my words are going all over the place today. But anyway, if you know Save Toys, you know that's nothing new. Anyway, with the release of Kong uh, Skull Island in the uh, new Godzilla uh, series, they really brought back the humanoid gorilla and how he walked and how he moved, and that made him scarier to me and really brought back uh, reminiscing thoughts of the original 1933 King Kong. And Godzilla vs. Kong is coming out soon. Don't know when uh, with everything going on in the world right now, but as we anticipate it, let's step over and take a look at this particular action figure. Meet you there. Well, it's such a beautiful day here in Georgia. I wanted to film outside my house. Now, occasionally throughout this review, you'll see me kind of swatting around. We have Georgia gnats, and they are crazy. They go for your eyes and your mouth. And you might even catch me swallowing one during the review. We'll see. But this is our figure that was donated to the channel by uh, Deborah Brown. And it's an Imperial King Kong. And it's very reminiscent uh, of the 1933 movie. Let's get that head a little bit closer. And there you go. And hopefully right now on the screen you'll see a picture of King Kong's face from that black and white movie to kind of do a little quick comparison. But this is a beautiful figure. I had one as a kid. It's been years lost. Um, it's not a very articulated figure. We got two points of articulation. The arms. We got 
praise the Lord pose, and we got weightlifter pose right here. Uh, the paint job is really great. After all these years, the paint is just so well done. You will see a crease, right? You can see it really good on the back, right there where it was put together in half. But that's really the only uh, seam in the whole uh, figure. Uh, beautiful head sculpt again. I love those eyes, man. They're just beautiful in that. In that. Ah, like he's just ready to attack, uh, attack another airplane on top of the Empire State Building. Beautiful toes. Get those really good. You can actually see the nails right there. The hands. Uh, let's get those in right. Let's see. There we go. You can see the nails. But one thing I really like about the hands is they're almost like a kung fu grip, even though it really can't hold anything. Just that flexibleness in that hand there. That is so cool, man. So cool. And with the paint and the mold, uh, the, it's all black, but in the mold, you can still see the hair on his arms and his body. He has the uh, bear gorilla uh, buttocks, as you see in Gorillas in the Wild. And the way he's standing is, is more like that movie, a humanoid mixture with a gorilla. It, it's not really full gorilla, you know, on all fours and different things like that. But again, that adds to the monster uh, motif of this particular figure. So it's really cool. And it's a treasure if you can find them on YouTube, oh, excuse me, eBay, look them up online. They're well, uh, excuse me, well worth the, per uh, ah, man, I'm really messing up today. They're well worth the purchase and they're really good for any Godzilla, King Kong, Kaiju fan to have a, a vintage King Kong Imperial in your collection. So I'll meet you back over at the Nerd Cave. Well, I hope that stimulated you to do some Kong research on your own. If I got anything wrong, please leave, the com leave it in the comments down below. Keep them nice. I love having discussions and I try to answer every comment to the channel. Now, also, I wanted to ask you again, please subscribe to the channel and help us grow. We're doing really well and growing subscribers every week and I'm very grateful to each and every one of you. Check us out at SaveToys.com and if anybody's interested in donating an action figure to the channel for review, you can become a member at Save Toys Premium on Facebook where you get your Save Toys episodes early you also sometimes we do votes on upcoming episodes of Save Toys and also you get episodes that never even make it to YouTube. So it's really worth your while. Uh, Travis Housley, P.O. Box 211, Blackshire, Georgia 31516. And until next time, if you like it, collect it.